Hey guys, it's Enzo, and you're probably aware of cryptocurrencies like Dogecoin and the Shiba Inu coin, as well as NFTs. But have you heard of earning while playing an NFT game? This is made possible with Axie Infinity, an adorable breeding fighting game where users control monsters called Axies for Ethereum. But what is it? How does it work? How is this a thing? Find out here as we delve deeper into the Axie universe. So before we start, what is Axie Infinity? Axie Infinity is developed by Sky Mavis, a technology-focused game studio founded in early 2018. The whole Axie ordeal is inspired by Pokemon and Tamagotchi games. Axie Infinity is classified as an NFT game that allows individuals to earn currency from playing the game as they breed, race, battle, and trade Axie creatures in the marketplace. Axie Infinity's mission was to function as a fun and educating way to introduce the world to blockchain technology. Many of the developers and the team members met from playing CryptoKitties, which then evolved to them working on Axie to introduce the magic of blockchain technology to players. All art assets and Axie data can be accessed by third parties, allowing the community developers to build their own tool and experiences to improve the Axie Infinity universe further. The difference between Axie and our traditional game is that blockchain economic design rewards their players for contributing to the ecosystem, meaning that the more you contribute to the Axie universe, the more rewards to reap. Next, how does it work? Axie Infinity runs a blockchain technology, however, instead of mining new blocks on the chain, which means solving complex math problems that generate an accepted hash, Axie Infinity provides a play-to-earn structure. Players can earn by competing PvP battles, breeding axes, and selling them into the marketplace or collecting rare axes. Do note that the Smooth Love Potion, or SLP, are needed to breed axes. SLPs, like any other cryptocurrency, is volatile. As of the writing, it's continuously growing as we speak, but here's how much it is today. You can purchase SLPs via Uniswap or Binance. According to Axie, players can earn governance tokens, or AXS, representing a real slice of the Axie universe as it has governance rights and fee sharing built into it. Since players can earn this token by playing, a Ready Player One type quest emerges where players can actually earn a part of the universe, rewarding players based on their effort and skill and not by their wins. And I know what you guys are probably thinking, how do I start? Well. You can find the game in their official website, which I'll link in the description box below. However, you just don't download the game right away. It needs accounts and wallets since it involves cryptocurrency. Download a digital wallet like MetaMask and load them with some ETH. You can acquire ETH by Coinbase, Binance, or local cryptos, depending on your country. Next, you should download Ronin Wallet. After that, deposit ETH to Ronin using the Ronin Bridge. Then you should acquire at least 3 axes from the Axie Marketplace, and do log in to MetaMask. The link is also in the description box below. Now that you got everything started, how do you play Axie Infinity? Well, Axie Infinity is like Pokemon mixed with Hearthstone, the adorable monsters from Pokemon and the third base game from Hearthstone, meaning players use the cards to command what action their axes will be doing for that turn. Each Axie has 4 cards which randomize for every battle, and in order to play those cards, energy must be exploded. So if you have 4 energies, you can play any card as long as it fits within your 4 energy capacity. Normally, other games would allow players to choose which target to attack, but Axie Infinity's battle system attacks random targets, usually hitting the target closest to that Axie. You might be wondering, what happens if I lose or win? When you lose in PvP battles, you lose matchmaking rating, or MMR. If you win, you gain MMR and smooth love potions. Not to worry though, losing will not result in decrease of SLP. A relief, right? To expound further on this, the amount of SLP gained per win will depend on your MMR. Check this list to see how much SLP is gained for each phase of MMR. And moving on. Players earn through the game's SLP, which are given through daily quests or PvP matches. You might want to go straight to PvP matches because that's where the SLPs are given more frequently. But it is advised to fully max out your given axes. 
Accomplishing daily quests also hands out SLP and experience for your axes. So a healthy balance must be given to both PvP and PvE modes in the game. It was previously mentioned that three axes are needed to get started. The problem that keeps people in investing meta axes are the prices. The meta axes as of the moment is one plant axe that acts as a tank, a beast axe for DPS, and the fish axe for debuffing. Now if you're worried on spending for this game, there is an ongoing manager to scholar structure that people use. There are long-standing axe enthusiasts that have hundreds of axes, usually from the early days of NFT game when axe monsters and breeding were cheaper. An individual who owns 20 axes cannot play them all at once, which is why they lend them to people who actually use them, or in that case, they care of them. This is where managers and scholars roll in. Managers are the individuals who have the means to lend axes to people, and those people who are lent axes are called scholars. The split between the two usually is 60% for the scholars and 40% for the manager. The scholar earns more from the cut because they are the ones playing the game. As soon as the scholars and managers make the cut, it is up to the scholar to either sell it to the market or hoard them until the price rises. It was also noted previously that breeding is possible with SLP but scholars are not able to use this. Their job is to complete daily quests, fight PvP matches, and gain SLP. And as of the moment, there are approximately 140,000 axes globally. The price starts at $1, but the most expensive axe ever sold went for 300 ETH, which is around $1.5 million. Cuteness does sell quite a lot. And now for those people who aren't sure, probably asking themselves, should I jump into the craze? Well, one main reason why people play this game is the potential to earn. I mean, let's be honest, these are really tough times. And being able to play a game for a living, that doesn't seem to be like a bad deal. But like any investments, there are risks involved. If you have to ask what ETH is, then you will need some studying. It may still be a game, but still you're throwing real money into it. It would be best for you to use funds that you are ready to lose. You know, from your extra cash, from your extra job. So there you have it. A rundown as what the adorable Axie Infinity is. What do you think about this play-to-earn structure it has going on? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and don't forget to visit yugatech.com gaming for more news, tips, and tricks. It's your boy Enzo, and stay safe.